Once known as a garden city, Bangalore experienced a waste crisis in 2003 when the waste management system broke down. Waste started piling up on the streets, transforming a garden city into a garbage city. We were so used to the system of disposing waste by sending our waste to the landfill. Our only method was send the waste, uh, dump everything into the vehicle, send it to the landfill. Uh, there is a, a law now that you know you have to segregate. Man. So we are actually pushing the two bin uh, one bag concept, uh, where we say you know uh, every household have to adopt only a simple procedure like this is for the wet waste, this is for the you know reject. Only this needs to go to the landfill and these are the recyclables. All your dry waste, this doesn't even take floor space, Space you can hang it on a hook in, in your utility. So we're just looking at pushing the two bin, one bag concept. Nevertheless, there have been a huge resistance from the people to start segregating. So like this community, they almost took eight months and it was something like, you know, uh, use all, ma all means to make them do that. So now with the government regulation in place, we are in a more stronger position to tell them. We are in a position to put them, you know, make them aware that this is, has to be done mandatorily. Even now we have <laughs> issues. Now, yes. <laughs> it's even after the government has put in these rules, we still have issues on people segregating because they just don't want to do it. A rule that mandates segregation of waste at source or at the household level has been passed. Yet implementing it is problematic. There is resistance from citizens and the city corporation has trouble enforcing it through a streamlined collection and processing system. You just cannot have a dumping ground which is kilometers away and as of now if you look at how the system is, you just have a dumping ground which is miles away and people just you know, take everything and dump it into that place. Uh, but if you really want to start, uh, you know, processing, it has to be decentralized. You really need smaller, smaller areas where you have a processing center and then it will probably work. India has got a very robust uh, recycling industry. Uh, you see rack pickers on the road. They are actually looking into the, you know, trash to pick something for, you know, to sell so that, you know, they can make their livelihood. So there is recycling happening at a very informal level. So right now we are looking at actually formalizing these rack pickers and creating uh, you know, work for them, spaces where there's more dignity. There are people who know waste, who understand waste more than anybody else because they have been pulling stuff out of the things that we throw out. Waste was trust and down there. Anselm Rosario. Our name is Gartara. I can say that life is not a good thing. I can say that life is not a good thing. I can say that city market is not a good thing. I can say that it is not a good thing. But I can say that it is not a good thing. I can say that it is not a good thing. I can say that it is not a good thing. I can say that it is not a good thing. I can say that it is not a good thing. What is it? Amelah ini drive sentro. Ini adalah kotin am life ne change mard beriti diri warga. Ini adalah separate mard tivi. Wanda ipet meter lebar tu ini lali. Agi ada tissue paper, color paper, pet bottle, puga, milk cover, tin, cotton box, news paper. Ini adalah segregate mard. Ini adalah lindah berat itu. Ini adalah lindah segregate mard. Wanda wanda room mana lihat betul. Ya warga sabda dasi agitnya. Awaga pack mard. Now we factory calls for it. We have a success here. This is the first century of the century. But it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. There is a rule in Bangalore. I think all over India for that matter. Anybody who is having more than 50 units or who is making more than 10 kgs of waste, they have to take care of their own composting activity. So the government will not take their waste. So that rule helped, it became an enforcement. What we then realized, clearly realized, is that you need a composter. Yeah, if you're not handling your organic waste at the source, it's not going to help because that's the most, um, most it gets spoiled very quickly. Getting them to start composting at home, because I think that's one of the biggest issues that wet waste, you know, people can't handle because the smallest portion is what I generate. And it's so easy to compost at that level then it aggregates you know, one community, 20 households and the whole street and then it becomes a huge problem. So infrastructure, costs, everything increase and escalate and managing it, you need, you know, labor, you need 
everything. We have a huge group of uh, terrace gardeners who are looking at growing organic food. So, like, uh, the community is quite large in Bangalore. It's almost 7,000 people growing food on their terraces. So, they all come to learn vermicomposting so that, you know, they use the castings, worm castings to grow their vegetables. Uh, this is the one change what we made every way. So, we have told they have to keep the waste in their own house. And there are a housekeeping team who will go door to door, collect the food waste right from the doorstep. And if there is some uh, bad elements, they will give it back. Some people protest on that. And some people try to put it in a plastic or and throw it out. But eventually 90% people, 95% comply eventually. So our objective is to convert the food waste into a soilless planting media and start urban vegetable gardening and help people to create their own organic farm. Nodi, niu kodo paperu tirga ni mige wasa dag barata ide, na watara kalista ide. Niu kodo paperu la niu kacra ola dag buta de dumping point gog butre. Paperi ola la, amala yen marti ide, nam garden city iwa, garden city illa iwa. Yella maragolo cut mard buto. Adita na paperu ni mado do, na veli ide. So that's our objective. Eighty percent into composting, fifteen percent to recycling. So ninety five percent, five percent okay fine. Let us think about that later. While a law exists for proper waste segregation, waste continues to be an issue in Bangalore with street corners acting as dump sites. Community initiatives are an excellent starting point, but both city and community efforts will be needed to make Bangalore a garden city once again. <laughs> Thank you.